hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Are these people harassing you? Harassing him? We're his parents! I told you, Mother. This is for your protection. Protection? From what, exactly? He just got back from Delphi. Spoke with the Oracle. Been out of his mind ever since. She revealed my prophecy. My mind has never been more clear. She said I would do unspeakable things to my parents. That Mother's blood would stain the earth. And Pater would scream to the gods in agony. Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your gut. What are you doing? Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. My sword and shield. Gifts from Mater and Pater. We must return them to my parents so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. All right, Supidio. I'll get these weapons for you. For a price. Of course. My parents will gladly pay you for your troubles. What? What? Seek out Costa, the village blacksmith. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. Can't wait. You mustn't free me. These ropes are the only thing between my parents and my wrath. Please, Mistyos, go see the blacksmith and get me my sword. Eros on Earth! Um, uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Alexios. Whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oil, those rippling muscles, uh, fix that broken spear. I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supidio. Ah, Supidio. Love that boy. Bit on the thin side, if you ask me. His parents feed him nothing. Yes. Well, he needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. His sword, I mean. Uh, but I can't just uh, hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Give me the sword, and I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Oh, I'm... I... Uh, I just... Uh, that would make every dream I've ever had come true. Uh, there's just one tiny problem. Uh, you see, my spear is also broken, if you get my meaning. Shame. But... Uh, there are special flowers in the forest beyond Xerxes' military fort, planted by Aphrodite herself. They really help to, um, reforge, if you know what I mean. Fine. I'll get the flowers and you'll give me the spear. I mean, sword. I mean, don't go anywhere.
I should be extra careful in this area. That should be enough to stoke the blacksmith's flame. Juice, Miss Theos. You take my breath away. Did you bring the flowers? Can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But, yes, I have them. Perfect! So, did you mean what you said about making this a day I'd never forget? Enough talking. Eat your plants. That was... Incredible. Thank Aphrodite. <laughs> Thank all the gods. Here, as promised, I'll never forget you. No, you won't. Hope you can swim, pirate scum! I should get this back to Supidio's parents before he does anything... Stupidio. Mistios, you've returned. Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods. I knew I could count on you, but this is only one of the items I needed, and I have two parents. So tell me about the shield. Well, according to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting the Oracle of Delphi. Stolen? It's as good as gone, then. I overheard Mater and Pater whispering about it. They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake, talked about the thief as if they knew her. Strange. Go to the cave, Mistios. Bring me back my shield. Only then. Will my parents be truly safe from my fury? <laughs> Mislios! At last! Did you find the shield? I did. Now you can protect yourself from... the prophecy. So, you found the thief? Oh yes. Cut her in half. She won't steal anything from anyone ever again. And what about the blacksmith? Oh, he's very much alive. 
We did things in the back of his workshop that would make Aphrodite blush. You didn't! This is awful! Pater? Pater, what's wrong? You're safe. The prophecy's broken. Actually, there's something we've been meaning to tell you. Supidio, you were adopted. What? A young couple brought you to us. They knew we'd give you a better home. That sword and shield is your inheritance from them. Wait. So the thief and the blacksmith? Are Supidio's birth parents. You killed his mother and fucked his pater. But the prophecy said pater would scream to the gods in agony. He screamed, but not in agony. Ah! Ah! You killed pater and had sex with pater. Supidio, I had no idea. I can't get the image out of my head. I don't want to see anymore. Ah! I'm blind, Mistios. Are you happy? My dreams are forever haunted. Mother...
You're the one who left the message on the board. What's going on? With a new leader may come new opportunities. We have rights here outside the main city, but we are not yet full citizens. But you want to be? Yes. I have a bit of money set aside to convince a politician. I think now is the time to make the attempt. So you want me to deliver it to the politician? That would be ideal. I mean... You truly are sent by the gods. We're done here. There's something you need. Please, ask for anything you need. This is for you. Thank you, Miss Theos. Please, take this.
These bandits look drugged. What happened here? you like going on these quests. The bandits don't even put up a fight. And there's wine! Tastes a bit off, though. Finally come to see a master at work, Varnavas. That's lotus flower wine. The bandits are drugged. Flower for Navas, snap out of it. Come on, old man, let's get you home. Feeling. That doesn't matter. The gods, they sent me a vision. You drank lotus flower, Varnavas. It makes people crazy. No, it was a divination, I'm certain. They showed me my dear Lida, my wife. You're married? I thought I'd lost her a long time ago. But I saw her in my vision. She's alive. We just have to find her. I'll help you find her, but a vision isn't much to go on. There were three visions in the darkness of a forgotten cave. Lida fed a cyclops. But then I saw her drinking wine with a witch. Then I could hear her singing like a siren. About this vision of the Cyclops. Right! Thosa and Poseidon took my hand and led me deep into the heart of the caves of Anafi. There, I saw Lida feeding a young Cyclops. So, Lida was drinking wine with a witch? See, she herself showed me. The witch and Lida were dear friends, drinking wine together well into the night. 
In the background, I could see the ruins on Paros Island. If Lida is alive, I'll find her. Welcome back! There's a message for you on the board. Came from the Vilos Islands. One of the cultists is there, Alexios. His name is Podarki. You reading my messages? Navas? I may have taken a peek. By the gods, that smells good. Did you find what you were looking for in Athens? A few clues, but this won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. All we can do now is trust the path the gods have laid out for us. I'm not the only one looking for my mother. The cult that wanted people out dead, they're all... I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in Chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros's blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! Feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. 
Even if your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rakmi. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Edios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Yes. Anything. <laughs> Eros? Please, his ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. Ridiculous. Love potions are a myth. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me. And don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely. But a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mistios could procure these items for you. Please, Mistios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of Drachmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Uh, fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. That's all. I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. That's the shipwreck with the wine. Hope the pirates haven't gotten here yet. That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. That must be the shipwreck she was talking about. all the wine left. The looter stripped the shipwreck clean.
customer. Come back any time. The customs warehouse. Better get looking for those mushrooms. Wine and wild mushrooms. That's all of it. I should go to the girl and the witch at the temple.
Here's everything you asked for. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Theos. Now I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far. I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Ethios. We'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mystios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Aetios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mystios. Sorry, my love. Give me a moment. Some peasants need my attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear. Beautiful. Gullible. Idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Etios picked her instead! He, he didn't even take a second look at me. What happened to the potion? Why, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added the lock of my hair to the potion and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause a violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a hope. <laughs> I was promised to rock me. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Mistyos! You're crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believe she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic. So spare me the hypocrisy. Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Mistyos, do something! Guards! 
There is a witch in our midst. What are you doing? The Mistio speaks the truth. Look what she did to me. She poisoned me and made me hideous. Someone, please help. Ah, you watch her back, Mistios. I'll have your head. Hey, uh... Go! What is that? What? I've known her all my life. She's a witch. That explains a lot. Ah! <laughs> 